Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we are looking at this foot right here. And as you can see, we've got some separation up above in this heel bulb, which is gonna point me down below into this white line. The problem is gonna be right here. Now, if we swing around and take a look at this at a different angle, we can see exactly what the problem is here. We've got some imbalance in this medial claw. If we look to this outside wall, we can see how that's been worn down. Pressures are being applied to that outside wall in an unnatural fashion, and that's what's caused this problem. First thing first, let's get this foot trimmed up. Now, when it comes to the trimming portion of this, this is what actually prevents these problems from occurring and is what is actually going to make this problem resolve in the end. By rebalancing this, this claw, rebalancing this foot, we're able to put those pressures where they belong. It's those pressures in bad spots that, is, that have caused this. Now that we can get this foot squared back up, when she puts that foot down, those weights are gonna be distributed the way they were supposed to, and that's gonna allow for normal horn growth in all of these places. It's gonna prevent defects from forming in that white line when we have those pressures where they belong. We weren't able to prevent this problem from happening in this cow, but now we must treat it and get it resolved. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna trim around all of this loose horn above here. We're gonna work our way all the way down. This area of heel bulb separation above is gonna to connect to that little black dot in the white line. So we're gonna work now and remove this horn until we get there. Throughout this part of it, I'm going to switch back and forth between my grinder and my knife just to thin down that sole. Once I can see exactly what I need to remove, I use my grinder here just to thin that down. It makes those cuts with my knife that much easier. Right underneath here is where that defect is. So my job now is to remove all of this horn along this wall area to fully expose that so we can get that to heal. Gotten a lot of questions lately about the different markings you see on the cows when it comes to either like the ankle bracelets or the ankle bands that they wear or the spray paint that you see on their backs sometimes. There's different reasons for all of those. The ankle bracelet, that is just a way, it's like a Fitbit. What that does is it tracks their, their not only their movement, but their other um, uh, bodily functions and can tell if there's any abnormalities. It'll pop up on the computer and they're able to take a closer look at that particular animal. When it comes to just the ankle or the duct tape around the ankles and things like that, that typically marks when a cow has um, either if she's been uh, treated for antibiotics or anything like that. And what that does is that alerts the people when they when that cow comes into the parlor that she may be, uh, that her milk needs to be discarded, things like that, just because we don't want to get any of that milk in the tank. A lot of these farms are set up with um, automatic systems in the computer, which won't allow that cow to be milked anyway, but that's just one more safety step to make sure that that doesn't happen. That's that duct tape on the ankles. When it comes to the spray paint, like you'll see on this cow when she leaves today, the spray paint on the back, that is just to mark them for, to make them easier uh, to sort them out for, in this case, today's trimming. They spray the backs and that way when they're letting them go, they can see that red mark on the back and that's really easy to identify. She can, we, they can let her go and put her in the pen for me to work on. Now back to this case here, you can see how this is actually starting to work up that outside wall. That's why I'm removing more there than I typically would. I gotta make sure I get that all of that away, even though I have to remove that wall. So that's what I'm doing here. Now let's get this other claw. We're gonna get that prepped. We're gonna get a block on that and let that cure. And then we're gonna finish cleaning up this area right around that lesion and get her on her way.
Now that we've got that sprayed down well, we can get a better view of this area and see what we have left to remove yet. Yes, you all know what's coming next. We gotta get that salicylic acid wrap in place, and then we're gonna let her go and see how she's walking. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.